Hey guys, Legend Ray here, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Now, today I've come up with another really, really interesting and very, very annoying off meta deck idea. So, if you take a look at this deck slot over here, you may have seen me play it on a previous stream, but I have made a Mortar Sparky earthquake cycle deck now this is an absolutely wild deck that honestly aims to counter a couple of certain decks in this meta the synergy is pretty obvious sparky and inferno dragon as well as the skeletons form a little bit of zap bait in addition sparky and inferno dragon will be able to take care of any tank in the entire game and then the sparky itself is going to be a great way to deal high splash damage combined with the tornado in addition the raw delivery is going to be very very important against any air units so be sure that you are saving that royal delivery if you are against air units last but not least of course the earthquake is there just to keep up with the spell cycling so sometimes you can't get a mortar connection then you can just spell cycle to the win anyways before we get into some matches if you could please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel that would be greatly appreciated also if you'd like to support me feel free to use creator code ray in the clash royale shop it really does help me out but with all that out of the way let's get right into to some matches. Hey, I lied. One more announcement. If you guys are watching this video within the first hour or two of it releasing, I will be live on my channel streaming the global tournament. So once you finish the video, be sure to hop over and check the stream out. Anyways, let's get back into it. All right, so this match here going to be against a Chinese player from a Chinese clan. Best of luck here. Uh, so yeah, starting off, Mm, not exactly the best starting hand. I'd like to have the mortar in here, but the opponent is also waiting a little bit, which makes me think it's probably not some sort of siege deck, which makes me a little bit more comfortable just cycling an earthquake here right off the bat. I'm actually more okay with just doing that, just because it's only three elixir, earthquake is kind of broken, and you can see the opponent is just gonna let me get that free, like almost 300 damage on that tower. Uh, off the bat. I'm gonna go in with a knight in the back because he's really not making a play uh, And okay, he's gonna go in with a goblin cage. I'm surprised he didn't do that earlier, but okay goblin cage will be Interesting it narrows the matchup down quite a bit Okay, and it looks like it will be a beatdown matchup So this is actually a little bit unfortunate uh, because we did use our inferno dragon Fortunately, we do have our sparky here um, and then we can always cycle back to another Inferno uh, Inferno Dragon when needed. So anyways, here Sparky is gonna do eh, not some not so good work here. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to splash onto that Night Witch. I'm gonna go in here. I took a little bit, a lot more damage than I would like. Um, so yeah, very very bad start. But in general, this should be a pretty good matchup. Uh, pretty smooth sailing as well. Uh, Knight will hopefully get some chip damage onto the tower here, and we can begin to form some sort of push. And it looks like he's just going to uh, Golem there in the back. So fortunately, we have quite a few answers uh, to Golem. <laughs> Obviously, we have Sparky and Inferno Dragon. But the only thing is, he has Lightning, and Lightning absolutely destroys, you know, these units. So we have to be very, very careful how we uh, want to do this. So first off, let's go and NATO this stuff together. Uh, that'll, you know, allow the Sparky to do that. Royal Delivery comes down to clear the bats. Uh, and then let's go into the center mortar here. Pull this stuff back a little bit. And uh, there we go, mortar stuff gets destroyed. Uh, we're gonna earthquake out that goblin cage there, like so. It's gonna take down, uh, the sparky will take down the goblin brawler, so we don't have to deal with that. And then we just go in with a sparky in the back one more time. He's going to most likely lightning the sparky, or not, never mind. Uh, we'll just go in with a high uh, thingy mobobber there. Okay, let's go in with a mortar here on, uh, on offense, uh, not on offense, on defense. Uh, just so that we have something something going for us. Otherwise, we're gonna be in some deep trouble here Inferno dragon down once again to take care of the uh, the baby dragon there And he's gonna go in with a golem up top. Let's go ahead and go with a sparky high Oh, that was a misplay the lightning might one shot the sparky now, which is uh, oh, okay Thank goodness, but uh, the sparky does go down. So this is actually going to be a very difficult defense Should have played the sparky at least one more tile farther backwards um, but I think it might be okay. Uh, hopefully. 
Uh, so let's see here. Inferno Dragon obviously will do a great job here. He misses the NATO, which is actually essential there uh, for us, which is very, it's very, very lucky, but I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. So yeah, we're still ahead here. Um, I don't really feel like going in with a mortar on offense yet, because he definitely has his golem in cycle. So let's see here. This is, this is going to be a little bit rough here. Let's go into the mortar there. Uh, dragon up high there. Let's go ahead and knight to pull the baby dragon there. Uh, I'm gonna actually uh, do this so that the, the night witch dies. Okay, his lightning comes out too late. Too little too late. Uh, and then there we go. That push got completely destroyed once again. Let's go ahead and go in with our mortar. Uh, earthquake there for the goblin cage. There we go. Predicted it. Uh, and that should actually get us a mortar lock there. And, oh, Sparky takes that down as well. Let's go uh, Inferno Dragon up high. That'll be outside of lightning range. So they can't hit both the Sparky and the tower mortar down on defense there uh let's go ahead and actually pull everything into the blind range mortar should get one more hit onto the tower and at this point we're pretty much going to win the match i just need to cycle to my tornado and that's going to be a gg well played taking down golem beat down no big deal Alrighty, so next we're gonna be against Zaga from Elite Army. Best of luck. We do have Mortar in our starting hand, so I'm a little bit more happy. Um, I will generally Mortar first play here, just to force out a response. And here, unfortunately, um, I'm gonna have to Sparky here, and then I'm with the NATO to clear out the bats. Um, I don't, I didn't really want to do that, but uh, it should just be one roll of giant hit. Meanwhile, the mortar on the other side is going to take his tower down to below 3,000 HP, 2705 to be exact. So I'm very, very happy uh, with how this match is starting off. Unfortunately, he does have an E-Wiz there to counter my uh, Sparky, so that'll be something that I really have to watch out for. Uh, going into the later bits of this match, but uh, for now his e is out of cycle, so I'm not too worried and looks like this is um, a, At least a variation of the very very popular royal giant earthquake cycle deck Not cycle deck the royal giant giant skeleton deck my bad and um, My best guess is he has the e in for the sparky and unfortunately here um, Let's think so we have to we have to native this stuff backwards obviously um so well played there should be just a couple of royal giant hits but he used both his uh, tanks as well as his earthquake so i'm feeling pretty confident with going as a mortar here he does obviously have the e-wiz which is just going to absolutely destroy uh but so let's go ahead and get a knight down as soon as we can there we go so that there's two units tanking you now the that way the e-wiz doesn't reset the sparky and um hmm, this might be a little bit tricky because his variation is slightly cheaper i think and his e-wiz will also get like two hits on the tower as well which is a little bit annoying but i'm actually okay with that so let's think here um Mm, okay, so this this will be kind of interesting. So as we head towards double elixir time He'll obviously be able to build up bigger pushes and uh, this sparky might cause him to go opposite lane uh, Oh, no, he actually chooses to go same lane. Okay, uh, that that'll be okay as well uh, So let's think. here we go mortar here uh, Obviously I have to be very very cognizant of the cycle this guy has Hopefully I caught that in time. Yes, we do all right, nice, nice. Let's go ahead and just cycle back to another Sparky here. We don't want him to be able to, you know, do anything here. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just go ahead and Earthquake here just to get more chip damage. I think I'm just going to NATO as well. Um, yeah, that way the Sparky doesn't get into tower range either, so that's all good for us. Let's go ahead and get a Knight down again so the e has two targets and the second Sparky does not get distracted. So let's go Mortar Center now. And then another Sparky down immediately. Ooh, unfortunately, I played that wrong. Mm, we're gonna take some sort of damage here uh, because he has his E-Wiz. Hopefully, he uses the E-Wiz there good. That way, uh, I, I feel a little more, more comfortable going in with our Inferno Dragon since obviously he doesn't have an answer. Uh, okay, so this is a little tricky. Uh, let's go in with a Mortar here on defense. Um, okay, so we're gonna go in here with uh, this here. Okay, this is a little sketchy here. Let's go ahead and get our knight down here. We're beginning to damage down the Electro Wizard. Uh, ooh, the Electro Wizard actually doesn't go down. Hmm, I have to get a roll delivery down immediately as well. We're going to take a lot of damage here, actually. Uh, oh, that was... A, I just wasted a NATO there. Um, luckily, we're still even here. So I think we're going to be okay. 
Uh, I just need to go Sparky here because I think he's going to play something at the bridge. Never mind. Um, but it's better to just be safe. Uh, we're going to go into the mortar here. Uh, okay. Um... Hmm, this is actually going to be a little bit rough here because he is slightly ahead. Fortunately, though, the uh, E-Wiz will walk, not the E-Wiz, the Fisherman will get into the blind range there, which means that... Oh, wow, Tower's actually down to 139, and oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the Mortar was locked on. Tower goes down, and uh, yeah, got a little bit sketchy there, but as you can see, we just have so many counters. Uh, so as long as you're watching the E-Wiz, and if you're against the more popular deck, as long as you're watching the Zappies, uh, you should be just fine. All right, next up against this guy here. Again, from a Chinese clan. Best of luck. Um, and yeah, starting off, of course, I feel very, very comfortable. Mortar first play here. And of course, let's go out of skeletons just in case he's running the firecracker variation. And it looks like he probably is, but uh, he won't play a firecracker here. Mortar, luckily, will get two hits. So it, we might be against like the cheap mortar cycle deck here. So let's actually go in with Inferno Dragon in the back. Um, this is... Oh, no, wait. Uh, this might just be a minor cycle deck that we're against, to be honest. Um, which is actually a little bit tricky. Because uh, my, minor cycle, they can get to all of their cheap stuff so quickly. And, oh, that's not good. Um, go like this. And then we pull the hogs over to king. Oh, wow. Okay, that worked out really well. Oh, my gosh. Um, all right. Anyways, we have a little counter push here. So... Okay, he definitely has a reset. There's no way he lets the Sparky take out the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, so let's see what he's got. Skeletons there. Okay, skeletons are okay. Mini uh, Sparky? Okay. Sparky actually, I think, would have taken out the Mini P.E.K.K.A. had he not logged there. Uh, but since his log is out of cycle, I should just be able to counter the things nice and easy there. And then since it's, he's not running a building deck, we just go in with an Earthquake here. Um, both Earthquakes are coming down, so I'm not too... Mm, okay, so let's go into the mortar center. Unfortunately, uh, I wasn't confident enough that the Sparky would splash all four of the Royal Hogs, so I just wanted to be safe. Sparky, see, he doesn't even splash onto all three. That's, uh, that's just so stupid. Um, but anyways, here, uh, let's let's see what he's gonna do. Hopefully, I can pull off like a cool NATO play, so maybe I'll take down like a mini Pekka as well or something like that. Um, Oh, wow, you're just going to feed a mini P.E.K.K.A. into that. Okay, we're going to put a knight there. Uh, you're going to have to respond to that. Uh, okay, well, never mind. Well played. Um, okay, we're just going to Earthquake here. He definitely has his Royal Hogs back in cycle, so we're just going to do this. And then we're going to Mortar Center here, like so. Uh, hogs, uh, Mortar won't get a hit, but Hogs shouldn't either, uh, which I'm actually okay with. And then we just go Sparky here in the back. Magic Archer, that's not going to work. That's not, that's not. Okay, well, well played. Well played. Uh, let's go in the Knight here. I don't want to take any extra damage from that Magic Archer because it's just annoying. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, luckily we don't have to worry about the Magic Archer anymore. 30 seconds left. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, okay, luckily here, I think we should be okay. Let's go ahead and actually NATO this stuff together. There we go. Sparky takes all this stuff out. Let's get a second Sparky down. He doesn't have a reset. So this will be really big trouble for him. Um, so yeah, there we go. We got two Sparkies on the field. Tower goes down. And oh my god, nothing he can do to stop that. Uh, as you can see, this deck has a deceivingly slow cycle, and we can actually cycle to multiple Sparkies uh, a lot quicker than the opponent will be able to expect. Alrighty, next up against Sir E. No Sire Noman. There we go. That's <laughs> again. Uh, he's from the clan C R L Nova Mex Five. I wonder if this guy like got a top a thousand finish or something last season, which I absolutely didn't do. Um, but okay, interesting here. He's going. With nothing immediate, we're just going to go roll delivery on top of the minions there. And that'll force out even more of a response. I'm wondering if he's just going to spend uh, more elixir in the opposite lane. Looks like he's not even going to do that. So I'm a little bit curious as to what this guy's doing. Okay, he's going to minor. Mm, okay, unfortunately the... The knight's gonna go uh, wherever the heck it wants. <laughs> Obviously in the other lane, away from where I want it to be. Uh, but we go in mortar again. Um, okay, this will be a little bit interesting. Um, hmm. I'm not... Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. This will be rough. Okay, so five. Okay. So we're going to have to take a, uh, a hit here. 
and then try and go for this. But uh, I'm honestly just hoping we don't get three crown right here. Looks like we actually won't, and the mortar will pretty much take this tower down. We're actually gonna get really, really close. If the balloon gets one more hit, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, okay, 13, 15. I'm very, very close to getting three crown, but we do get away with the uh, with a very, very interesting defense. I'll, I'll give it that. But anyways, here. Ooh, okay, okay. Try not to get three crown. I cannot pull anything to my king tower again for the rest of this match. Uh, and are you going with a balloon here? Oh no, I'm gonna have to pull. I, I might have to pull that to my king tower. Oh, is he gonna bypass? Does that bypass? If he does, okay, it doesn't. Um, we're not even gonna you know bother spending more elixir um, on that balloon. I can take the death damage. I can obviously afford it, but um, it looks like he just failed to push the balloon over. Uh, because I know there's a way you can bypass the, uh, I know there's a way you can bypass the mortar placement that I played there if you play a skeleton dragons or minions far enough. So yeah, I have to be very, very careful here uh, as to how he does that. I'm going to play a little bit of a higher mortar, that way that doesn't happen. Or does he get it? No, he doesn't. Okay, we're fine. Alright. Um, Bloom shouldn't get a hit. Again, it will be death damage, but I'm, again, I'm totally okay with that. Yep, there we go. Um... And there we go, Sparky also gets a hit as well on the Mega Knight, so I'm very, very happy with that. And his E-Wiz is out of cycle, so, not E-Wiz, his, whatever the heck, Electro Spirit is out of cycle, and this should just be GG's. I mean, obviously I'm going to take down this Mega Knight, I'm going to finish his tower very, very easily, there's not much he can do. Uh, so yeah, it looks like at this point he's just given up. So yeah, as you can see, this got a little, little bit sketchy, but here you just see the power of the tornado. It not only pulled the Mega Knight, but it also pulled the balloon to the King Tower, which essentially allowed me to, you know, pull off an insanely cheap, cheap defense. All right, so there we go. A couple of matches with this very, very interesting Mortar Sparky Earthquake deck. It definitely requires a little bit of play to get used to because the play style is definitely very, very interesting. But once you do, it's honestly really, really fun to play. And I definitely recommend you guys give this deck a try. But unfortunately, guys, that's all I've got time for in today's episode. Huge thanks to all my channel members. You guys are the absolute Gs. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel. And as always, this is Legend Array, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.